Okay, that's where we're going. We're going to shift gears. We're going to go in Homer. Here's the basic question. <clears throat> Is Lord Phoenix the model for understanding Achilles? Create an analogy. Is the behavior of Phoenix the model for the way in which Achilles plays out his problem? <clears throat> of himself is that in some way passed on to Achilles how and in what way can we use what Phoenix says about himself <clears throat> in chapter 9 use it as a predictive tool for understanding Achilles. <clears throat> now to play this game you have to see that Achilles can be said Spiritual leaders who 
boast of having the most profound religious experience of anyone in literature. If you read the book, that's what you're going to get. That's where we're going. Right? This is what you're going to do, aren't you? Yeah. Say yes. Well, yeah. Thank you. And you're going to minister, aren't you? Well. Say yes. Yeah. She promised it, did she not? She did. Fully, I didn't influence her. No. No, not me. No, not even a little. No. So you're saying Achilles is said to have had the most profound religious experience of anyone in literature? Watch. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's what I said. And you can see it. And in chapter 9? Well, you know, maybe you have to go a little bit more, but right now we're going to be in chapter 9. Okay. To see this. To see what I just mentioned a short while ago, we'll okay. go ahead several more chapters. That's where we're going. Now you're saying this is on Friday, we're going here? Every, okay, good. Does Achilles get any help from any other people, or is, does he just work through it by himself? By himself. He did his own philosophical midwifery by himself, which was incredible. <clears throat> Why? That takes real seeing, because that means he had to break through his own pathologos language to discover the weakness in his own thinking. And since most, the whole basis of pathologos is that it's unsuspected, so he had to surface it himself in such a way that he had to see through it, and you have to see that he has to see through it, and you have to specify what are the steps he went through to see it. That's where we're going. It seems like I impossible almost to do it by yourself. Well, my Uncle Louis did it by himself. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> uh, he was just saying that he didn't believe he was capable of doing that at the same time. Yeah. So I was thinking how hard it is to see the things that you don't know that you don't know. That's right. That uh, logo thing. That's because right. Because it's unsuspected that. Yeah. You and we have out. we have to see that in his personality, it has that potential to do it. Or it's a second-rate work. Well, he also did it without pollution in general. Oh, I happen to have my Well, <laughs> <laughs> What about, so how, how was he, uh, did he get any help? I think he asked that question, but did he get any help? And if not, then... No help. How would he confirm that it's the right thing? It's good. You'll see it. Hold on to that question. You'll see it. Now, which translation are we going to use? doesn't make any difference. That's okay. <clears throat> because um, <clears throat> the idea of the self in Homer's Iliad, right, the Greek word autos and its forms, occurs over a thousand times. In chapter 9? Oh, no. in Iliad? In the Iliad. Iliad? In the Iliad. Oh. Therefore, hey... It's the major work in Western literature on the nature of the self. Hmm. That's what framed the Greek spirit until it was crushed by you know who. Mm -hmm. Some more questions first? Yes, go right ahead. <laughs> I, 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 I am out of it. I have no question right now. I don't have a question right now, but I'm sure I'll have some later. How about John? Um, yeah, this might be a stupid question. Good. But um, I'm trying to figure out is Osea being or Logos being? Pardon me? Is Osea being or Logos? Oh. Oh. 
Um, they're intimately related. Whatever the result of turning the osea on something intelligible can be expressed as a logos. Or also, you're at that same time <clears throat> encountering in principle inherent in the intelligible the logos. Mm. And that's in the book. Um, uh, regarding a, a character like Achilles and right going through this sort of transformation, um, I guess, uh, well, it's more of a curiosity, like you take a, like a figure like Bodhidharma. Um, that's a damn good expression. That's very good. Just wondering, right, the parallels, the that's differences, right. the similarities, because he supposedly did it on his own. Um, so far as yeah. I know, right, uh, or that's recorded, and uh, just I guess like or other figures like that, and uh, if there's any sort of record or or yeah. yeah but this is the work where it spells out exactly mm -hmm. yeah. the steps that he took. It's the only book of its kind. And and is is that a uh, it doesn't matter whether it's actually historically happened, right? Just uh, taking it as uh, a study. I don't like, know. Like, like, how does? Excuse me. I don't know the difference. I'm just wondering. So, look here. I take that question and give it to Nancy always. <laughs> Actually, oh. that's what she's good for. Yeah. Go ahead, ask her. Well, Go ahead. Uh, my, my, <laughs> my question, do you have my question? I think so. It's like, like the same with Socrates, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter like if, if yeah. what Plato, if they, if they actually happen. Does it doesn't matter? I don't think it matters either. Yeah. I mean, if, or I'm wondering, did, wait, wait, did it I, I got to listen to what you're saying. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> If the understanding and if we can see what we want to see in the tale, then what does the historical reality of it add? I don't. I don't. Um, since since what we're looking for, if it if it if it's there, well then it's someone has to change it. Manifested that, so if it really actually happened in the physical world the way it yeah. was presented. I put it this way. Could someone have written it right. without having known someone like that? Or gone through it himself. Right, right. One yeah. of those things. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That puzzled that if there is this kind of midwife pathologos and realization on his own, uh, and it's, it was around for many years. Is there something in Plato's dialogues that even get come close to that, or is it in the in fact that it's on a metaphysical level? They talk about, like in the Theaetetus, about knowledge and remove the b false beliefs on that level. There are two parts to your question. Yeah, <coughs> there is. Yeah. Which one do I'm going to answer both. first? Come on. I'll take both. Uh, is because there anything in no, that? No, no, hold it. They're not similar. No. Uh, is there anything in Pardon the plate? Me. They are, what happens to Theotetus is not parallel. No. I was, I was trying to see, so kind push of that say aside. That, so let me pull back. Is there anything in Plato's Well, dialogue? I can answer that quickly. No. <laughs> Yet, yet we're saying that this is the Bible of. Um, yeah, that's true. So, uh, but we don't know what Socrates is. Actual, the dialogue Socrates actually had. We only have Plato's works on 
what he reports to be Socrates. We have Seneca. There are four. Where does he come? Well, I'm just puzzled why it is that Plato doesn't pick this up, and yet apparently it was. It Plato was in the, has a war against Homer. Oh, he does. If you read Book Nine in the Republic, you'll see it yourself. He says, hey, um, <clears throat> has anyone ever tried to build a city-state based upon the writings of Homer? No. Then what good is he? Well, you can read the, the chapter yourself and take a look. I thought he said, I thought Socrates said, though, it's just for yourself. It's, it doesn't matter. Therefore, what does that do to the question? then what does that do to your question? Well, it doesn't matter whether it's built or not, but... You're not following the logic of it. Stay, come on, stay with it. I, okay, I don't know what you were referring to then. Maybe I, when you said that, is there a city-state that was built? I, I just don't understand the reference. And what, what was the significance? If that criticism of Plato against Homer can be accepted as a good answer to why we can ignore Homer, by the same logic we can do the same thing with Plato's Republic. Because it too is not designed as an actual state, but only as something to contemplate as an idea in the heavens. That would be the consequence. Right. I think Elijah has a question. Did you, Elijah? Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, like, is Achilles born with this power that he's showing, like that, how he changes, or yes. does his actions? Both. So that makes me wonder, can somebody be hopeless when they're born? Mm. Can someone be whole when they're born? Can they not have this in them, that they do what he did? Well, <clears throat> he inherited a pathologos from his mother, <laughs> which is rare. Very few people do it. That <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Am I wrong again? Oh. Some even get it from their father, too. <laughs> No, see, the question you're raising is a good one in terms of the story itself, because his mother was a goddess, and he finally says, hey, you know what your problem is, honey? You should have, you should have uh, cohabited with someone other than, than a male on earth. You screwed me up, because here I thought I was something, and I realized it hasn't helped me worth a damn. So he says, yeah, you did it. So that's <laughs> your question. <laughs> All right? But to <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Hold it. Pardon me. I, I, I think it he still has his question. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, try it again. Ask him, but I don't think. Can somebody be born the opposite? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Since the Achilles had it in him, he was born with the power to overcome his own pathologos, can somebody be born the opposite without the power to overcome their pathologos? And they they want to make the choice to be able to like change, but they can't. That's right. Mm -hmm. They can be born until until they pull apart their pathologos. But are they are they born without that capability? Is anyone born without that capability? No, everyone has the capability. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes you feel a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All of us feel a little bit better. <laughs> I, have, I have to ask. Hold it, got another At one. At that point, so what about animals? What do about them? Do they have them? a pathologos? Do they no. not even like an embodied misteaching? Yeah, from their owners. No. <laughs> See, um, a pathologos 
in principle <clears throat> is someone who watched how to break the spirit of a horse or an animal. Mm. And they said, Oh, I think I can try that out on my kids. I still think animals could do that. But an animal, see, no animal passes on a pathologos to their own kids. Mm. That's so weird. No. Yeah. Well, you need language, don't you? You need language. But isn't the body in its way its own language? language? That's why human beings have such a problem. We've only had language for some 200,000 years. <laughs> Can we drop it? Well, I mean, compared to the life of man, you know, which is said to be two million years, it's, uh, it's very. <laughs> it's a new trick. Yeah. It's still a new trick. So, could yeah. you say that animals are pure? Pardon? So, so, could you say that animals are pure in that sense? Well, you can mistreat an animal, <clears throat> right? But they don't have they don't have the words to express it. Right? Nor did they need words to have that put in them, because they they don't understand language. Right? You need that's why that's why all pathologists must take place in the dawn when a kid is learning language. See, they have to first learn language, see? Mm -hmm. and then they can then they can listen. Put it together. Okay. Is though there are some, well, even though there are some people who report the onset of the pathologos very young, but beneath one and a half years old. <clears throat> yeah. I said, wow. Pardon? All I said was wow. <laughs> so that's good. Is that, is that why it's so hard to put words on it? Because we're describing, trying to put words on something that... You never put in words before. Yes. Right. It's the essence of a pathologos that a person has never put it in words before. <clears throat> if a family, no matter what they did to impose a pathologos on a child, if the next morning they were to say, hey, family, let's get everybody together. I want to point out I did something real foolish yesterday and just go over everything about it, the kid wouldn't have the problem. Mm -hmm. Wow. Couldn't you say there's like pathologous and evolution, though? Like the way animals change to become better? Well, I, I don't believe that it's a pathologus among animals, so I couldn't do that. I'd have to know more maybe about animals, I don't. Though I was once an animal trainer, I trained one of my cats. Mm. Uh -huh. good. That's good. What, to sleep more? Yeah. <laughs> and to come with food, I got to really train that cat. Uh -huh. no. I was able to open up a can and the cat had come right away. Amazing. I felt so powerful and good. Yeah. And that was equally true for her kittens. Yeah. Passed it on. Yeah, my, yeah, my father loved kittens. He used to put them in the oven at 400 degrees to keep them warm. Yeah. They didn't last, though, funny thing. They got too hot, I think. Okay, guys, that'll be for next week. This is where we're going. Oh, oh by the way, you may decide to read up to page nine, not chapter 9 too. Yeah. By the way, the whole book is about different kinds of sages and their roles, right from chapter 1. Right? Yes. Tiresias, the sage you could see in 20 generations ahead.
That's good saying, by the way. And behind. That's 40 generations over the other end. That's pretty good. Pretty good guy. What would he ever do with that kind of knowing? It's not in the book. Okay. But that was a stupid thing for me to say. See you next week with good reading. And we have a lot of fun. Yeah. All right.